Hi and welcome to my channel, my name is Magnus and today we are going to talk about differences between R81 and R81 for scalable platforms. Checkpoint says it's the main train and well, maybe it is the main train but a scalable platform doesn't actually have the same functionalities as R81 has in a normal gateway. And to check this there is actually a dedicated SK for this and it's called 170425. So for example, you can see here when it comes to firewall and security policy, QS for example is not available in scalable platform. Maybe that's a big thing or a small thing, it depends on your, uh, your environment. But one of the biggest things that comes with R81 is accelerated policy installation. And this is not available within scalable platform. So I don't know how if it's faster to install the policy. Um, one of the reasons why you're running scalable platform is that you want to have a very large environment. And normally when you have a large environment, you have a very large rule base. And one of the biggest complaints when it comes to checkpoint in large environments and large rule base is the policy installation. And currently the accelerated policy installation is not present within scalable platform. If this comes later on in the HFA, I don't know, let's wait and see, but um, just keep this in mind. So when you're running scalable platform, I don't know if anyone is running R81 yet, um, but there are differences between R81 and R81 SP. And uh, one, one example uh, more when it comes to VSX, like one of the biggest thing that Checkpoint has announced is the possibility to run virtual routers within VSX. Personally, I think v uh, virtual router within VSX sucks, so I don't care about it. But if you need it, it's not available in scalable platform as well. So you need to check this type of SK if you run in the scalable platform and then see uh, what functions that R81 is stating that they have and then see the difference on if it's a deal breaker for you within your platform. Maybe you should wait a few more HFAs before you upgrade and maybe you get some of these done. So if we keep scrolling down, well, we see here some exclamation marks regarding uh, CPUs and uh, the license update. Well, license update within R81, uh, not super good yet, especially if you're running well, VSX, MDS, and well, large environments. Um, of course, if you have internet to your stuff, it's it's always easy, but it's not always that you have your VS0 on your VSX systems to internet, and it's not sure that you have your uh, MDS to, to internet as well. But, um, well, keep that in mind. Um, Gaia portal, not available within um, uh, R81 SP. Maybe it comes later. And you see a few more here as well. So VXVLAN, uh, GRI tunnels, etc. Um, I don't know how this affects it, but when you, for example, checking like uh, Maestro, you should follow the, the guidance and um, the deployment guides for Maestro and for the chassis ones. You shouldn't just check like R81 has these features. You actually need to check more. Honestly, I think it's great that Checkpoint is actually providing this sort of list and it's very easy to actually see what is included and what is not included within R81. Um, and there are a few more things like uh, cluster. Um, I guess this is load sharing. Well, maybe you're not running um, uh, load sharing in, in, uh, in Maestro. Maybe you use Maestro's load sharing. And if you're running uh, VSX, of course you should run VSLS and that's supported. So we keep scrolling down. So we see here, um, so dynamic routing with uh, VTIs, uh, targeted R81.10. And there are a few more of these ones. And as I said, uh, I think more vendors should do the same to have an easy list that you actually can check and just um, well, check it off your, your list of things that you need. Um, R81 still include a lot more than the previous SP version. So you're getting more things either way. 
Um, remote access VPN. I actually don't know what that is. Maybe not so important for me then. Um, DHCP server. Don't run a DHCP server on your gateways. Run that in a DHCP server. Use DHCP relay. And DHCP relay is supported. I don't know if there is anything more that you should be aware of. Um, Penetrated box. I'm I'm wondering about this one. I um I think this has to do with like the those things. Um, I need to check on that one. Um, this is Sam rules. Replaced by FBXL DOS. Okay. I guess we need to check on on Maestro and scalable platforms as well. It's a bit harder to lab that one actually. Uh, a lot harder. Um, but it's possible. Um, Anti-spam. Who actually uses anti-spam within your checkpoint gateway? I don't know. Uh, identity awareness, all is available. Compliance, SSL inspection. Uh, DLP, VSX mode is not supported. No, okay, too bad. Uh, PIM restart. Ah. Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, PIM is regarding multicast. Um, BGP support for VXVLAN. I wonder if LLDP is supported. I mean, uh, Maestro is actually using LLDP to find which sort of appliances are are connected to it so I don't know LLDP uh, link discovery protocol uh, not available with uh, scalable platform that one actually sucks um, LLDP is really nice and it's something that Checkpoint should have uh, in implemented many many years ago and I'm really thankful that they actually implemented it now um, and as Maestro and so on is actually using that functionality, I'm surprised that it's not in the in the scalable platform. But well, what can you do? Hopefully, the the target version for this is like something. Uh, maybe it comes in a HFA. But I think that's it for the comparison between R81 and R81 scalable platform. And I hope you did learn something. And as a reminder. The escape for this was um, 170425. So if you're running a scalable platform, check this out. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.